we already know that we are very, very close to the halfway point of 2022, but that things will start ramping up from about May of 2022 uh, of this year. In a nutshell, what I'm going to be showing today is the fact that some parts of the world, and I don't mean countries, I mean systems, structures, they're kind of going to be breaking down a little bit. The first question I'm going to answer is that, is there going to be war in 2022? Just a few days ago, it seems that um, it was announced that the ruble is the best performing currency in 2022. Like, how, how is that working, right? I mean, the, the sanctions are supposed to make him weak. So I see here that there's a lot of this idealism. They could be misreading other parties as well. Um, but it does seem like um, there is indications of giving up. That's what I see in, in the charts, which makes me personally a bit disappointed because I, I like rooting for the underdog. So then, of course, the big question that a lot of people are thinking about here is that then the other big player that I have not spoken about here is the United States. Are they going to intervene? So what we see here as an astrological pattern is that every time these three things show up in, in America's chart, that very shortly after that, there is war. And the thing is, so when we look at the rest of this year, uh, no surprise here is that you see a lot of this aggression thing coming up. What I've noticed is that there is one side of the world that is being driven by an economic objective. That is very clear that um, whatever, whatever game is being played here, the end game is to somehow get some dollars out of it. Versus, there is now a rising group of people whose fights are now driven by an idea. It is between the Earth era and the Air era. So with that in mind, the next question here is that then what's going to happen to all that money issues? So let's talk about the financial crisis first. So what I'm trying to show you is that there is a very reliable astrology indicator for inflation and recession. So by my calculations, the interlocking happened from February 2020 and it's still going. Right now, we are only May of 2022. We are right in the middle of it. So that means what happens in Singapore, I logically speaking it's going to be a reaction on what's happening to other countries everyone is talking about china as the rising power are there other contenders is it possible that the us might continue or maybe some other country might come up and russia is right now already done already building an arctic silk road there's going to be a new trade and the thing is this never existed in the earth era so guys i'm asking you to look at things that didn't exist in the earth era Let's talk about a fundamental value. And I think you want to go down into the fundamental of like what is the skill and the knowledge that you have. And how many of you have realized that there are bankers who became bakers and they're happier, you know. But you see, uh, one thing I've learned from studying China and Russia so much is that they actually don't care about the money. And did you realize what they care about was the resources? They secured food. They secured gold and silver. Do your, do your homework. They've secured water supply. They secured fuel. And that's why you got to start thinking, what are the important resources that we have? And we can build the air era you want. So guys, as I show you in my, in my forecast so far, as early as next year, the world going to Tobale eh, is going to turn on its head. Eh. We're going to see things that we, we don't understand. Eh. Now, I believe that if we are going to the air era, let's be really straight here. There are a lot of problems coming up. But the only thing I want to tell all of you sincerely is this is already my eighth, ninth webinar. I haven't been wrong so far, you know. You cannot bet on the possibility that I could be wrong again. 